what do the arts look like from each of the stages of spiral dynamics. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the first of a two-part series where I'm going to be sharing my spiral dynamics analysis of the arts. In this video I'm going to go through purple, red, blue, and maybe orange. And then in the next video I'm going to go through the rest of them, of green up to turquoise. And so to get the most out of this, this video, or these two videos, um, I want you to remember that spiral dynamics is not just an intellectual exercise. It is an embodied exercise. It is something that goes beyond merely a bunch of ideas. It's a whole worldview. It's a whole way of being. So each of these stages represents different value systems, different ways of being, different worldviews that have existed throughout history and in different individuals. And there is a progression from one to the next that um, is very common among all people. And so that's why we have these different stages. So I hope you enjoy this. I, th I think it's going to be really fun to hear about all this. I think you're going to really going to get a sense of what each stage is about. And of course, how it applies to the arts. And for each stage, what I'm going to be sharing is some, some overview, um, just the basic characteristics. I'm also going to share what the arts look like in general. Um, from each stage, I'm going to share a whole list of examples for each stage. So you're really going to get a clear picture of what each stage has to say about the arts, what an approach to the arts might look like from each stage. Okay, so you can see I'm not in my usual place. I'm not at home. In Philadelphia, I am um, in beautiful Maine, in the woods here, and so that's that's why you're hearing the birds and seeing the trees. So, my, my before we go on, I'm just going to introduce myself: Joseph Arnold, I'm a violinist, Alexander Technique teacher, and director of the Soul Force Arts Institute, and author of the upcoming book Soul Force Arts: The Vital Role of Musicians and Artists in Creating a More Beautiful World. And, what I'm going to be sharing is from my book. So we're going to start with purple. And as you listen, notice your body. Notice any reactions that come up. And um, see what seems familiar. See what feels unfamiliar. Um, see what you connect with and what you don't. And that's all useful information for your own development process. So here we go. Purple. Magic, feeling at home, safety, tradition, motto, I sacrifice myself for the sake of the clan and existential reality. Basics, purple is all about safety, tradition, and belongingness. Its worldview is that the world is frightening and mysterious, and that the spirits must be placated and people must join together to survive. Morally, purple is collectivist, and its circle of concern is limited to its immediate family members within the tribe of about 150 people. The individual self is not fully differentiated from the tribe. Purple is at its best in creating a safe, warm environment, social emotional bonding, loyalty, and in the use of intuition and imagination. Purple is at its worst in its fixed adherence to rules, closed-mindedness, clinging to the past, and its us-versus-them mentality. Purple first developed approximately 50,000 years ago and currently comprises 10% of the world's population. Right, how society views the arts. In purple societies, there isn't an idea of the arts as such. Instead, the arts are integral to every aspect of society, showing up in the traditional crafts and folkways that give form to the built environment and religious needs. Everyone in the community considers, them, considers themselves to be an artist or craftsman in some way. In purple, the role of the arts is to affirm the togetherness and identity of the tribe, to pass on the tribe's traditions, and to participate in the sacred and mysterious workings of nature. Manifestations in the arts. In contemporary arts contexts, purple shows up 
as the sense of bonding with fellow cast members, regarding performance as mystical communion with the larger forces of nature, keeping your body or instrument safe, the use of applause, belief in backstage superstitions such as break a leg, the establishment of basic routines, the enjoyment of repetition and basic motor skills, the use of lucky charms, learning from and honoring elders, learning by rote, the passing down of traditions, the attitude, if it was good enough for granddad, it's good enough for me, the feeling of trust and connection between teachers, students, and colleagues, the use of a special space for creating or teaching, and the advice to slow down and just do what I say. The stakes and success. And just a, a side note, <clears throat> I include the, the sections on how each stage views mistakes and success because so much of the attention, in, you know, especially in sort of high-level arts training, is just all, all about mistakes and getting too focused on mistakes or at least having a, a less sophisticated view of mistakes than uh, is actually helpful. So as, as you go through the different stages, you'll hear the evolution of uh, d different uh, reactions or different values uh, when it comes to mistakes. So for purple, mistakes are a sign of disobedience to the all-powerful and mysterious authority slash deity slash parent and are worthy of punishment, whether or not the error was accidental. Success happens when the authority, deity, or parent is happy. Someone at Purple, upon seeing a mistake, might say, the gods will be angry. The primary emotions around mistakes are fear and shame. Examples in the arts. Indigenous forms of drumming, chanting, and dance. Work songs folk music, traditional handicrafts, the use of weaving as an aid in remembering the tribe's history and legends, indigenous pourquoi stories, like that of how the leopard got his spots, Australian Aboriginal song lines, folk dance forms like square dancing, injunctions against certain forms of music or arts, and any oral traditions that are passed down from generation a generation. All right, so that's purple. I bet you can get a sense of the overall vibe of purple. So here we go. We're going to move on. Here's red. Red, mythic, power, speed, impulsive, motto, I'm taking charge without taking others into account. Basics. Red is all about passion, power, courage, and assertiveness. Its worldview is that the whole world is a jungle and that only the strong will survive. An eye for an eye mentality. Morally, red is individualistic and its circle of concern is primarily egocentric, but can also extend to the people in its immediate tribe or religion. Red is at its best in its ability to just get, get it done under pressure. Its ability to make bold choices, to muster energy, and the courage to stand up for itself. Red is at its worst in its egotism, authoritarianism, exploitation, impatience, and rudeness. Red first developed about 10,000 years ago and currently comprises 15 to 20 percent of the world's population. How red societies view the arts. Red societies do have the beginning of specialization in the arts, Court musicians and artisans show up at this level. For Red, the point of the arts is the glorification of the individual self, political figures, or deities. Contemporary manifestations in the arts. In contemporary arts contexts, Red shows up as the reliance on gut instincts, the use of authority to get one's way, a my way or the highway attitude egotistical displays of technical prowess, the thrill of powerful creative experiences, the ability to follow and develop your own creative impulses, wanting to just get to the end of the song, 
the drive to get things done, the creation of a sense of urgency, the desire for instant gratification, the view of the teacher as an all-powerful and all-knowing master, and the expectation that the student or apprentice will blindly follow the teacher's directions. A do-it-because-I-said-so attitude, the setting of boundaries, and the ability to break with traditional ways. Mistakes and success. Red generally views mistakes as flaws belonging to other people and objects, and will tend to blame others in the attempt to avoid punishment. Like purple, red can't yet fully tell the difference between intentional and accidental mistakes, and so to red, the primary concern when making mistakes is whether or not red can get away with it. Someone at red, upon seeing someone else's mistake, might say, you're wrong. Success, on the other hand, happens when red gets its way. The primary emotions around mistakes are fear and anger. Examples in the arts. Death metal, gangster rap, taiko drumming, Russian squat dancing, sea shanties, hell week, which is the period of intense rehearsals before the opening of a play. The use of pyrotechnics, anything ostentatious, a great big bang at the end of the piece, parades, fanfares, portraits of the rich and powerful, theater or stories that glorify powerful political figures or gods, wild rock stars, the character Jules from Pulp Fiction, and basically any bad guy from stories and movies, stories that fear, feature the hero's journey, like the Iliad and the Odyssey, capoeira, and graffiti. All right, I'm gonna do one more today, and uh, I'll finish the rest of them in the next video for next week. So blue authoritarian. Order, rules, transparency. Motto, I sacrifice myself to the way for a defer deferred reward. The way there is capitalized, um, meaning the, 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 the social order. Basics. Blue is all about order, rules, and roles, morality, and a higher purpose. Its worldview is that the world is divinely ordered and that the wrong views are to be punished and the right views are to be rewarded. Blue is at its best in its professionalism, dedication, honor, sense of fairness, and service to a good cause. Blue is at its worst in its cold, distant, moralistic attitudes, inflexibility, fundamentalism, anal retentiveness, and sanctimony. Morally, blue is collectivist and its circle of concern extends to all people of its religion or country. Blue developed, blue first developed about 5,000 years ago and currently comprises 35 to 40% of the world's population. Contemporary, oh, excuse me, how, society, how blue societies view the arts. Blue societies are where all of our traditional arts institutions have been created. Theaters, art schools, and artistry as a profession are all aspects of blue societies, as are uh, the recognizable formal roles of performer audience and teacher student. Um, manifestations in contemporary arts. In contemporary arts con con excuse me, contexts, blue shows up as a professional, stable, meticulous, and dedicated approach. The, sp the specialization and extensive training in one medium or instrument. In the reliance on institutional knowledge, the rules of dress and etiquette on stage. In the ability to show up on time and get the, get, get the gig done properly. Discipline self-control, the ability to follow directions, the ability to sacrifice the present for future gain, for example, by practicing small portions of a piece before moving on, the use of a rational, logical, step-by-step -step approach to learning something, perfectionism, persistence, the fear of disappointing parents and teachers, making a distinction between the right way and the wrong way, the clear communication and enforcement of rules and roles, an emphasis on fairness and justice, the beginnings of compassion, a sense of duty or responsibility, and teaching by example. Mistakes and success. For Blue, these are viewed in terms of the rules handed down from authority, law, and tradition, and are viewed in black and white, right or wrong terms. 
Blue can, however, tell the difference between intentional and accidental errors, and can sometimes ex exercise forgiveness for accidental errors. Upon seeing a mistake, someone at Blue might say, you did it wrong. Success belongs to those who follow the rules. The primary emotions around mistakes are fear and guilt. Examples in the arts. Classical music, ballet, opera, cathedrals, literature, books on arts pedagogy, theater as morality tale, musical notation, professional artistry in general, the development of standardized methods for practice, performance, and teaching, schools that specialize in the arts, the development of standard visual arts forms like portraiture, landscapes, and still lifes, emphasis on lineage, the use of the arts in political ceremonies, religious frescoes, music composed for mass or other specialized religious ceremonies, hymns, anything that glorifies God and country, and color by numbers. Okay, so I bet you can get a sense of the vibe, the feel of each of these stages. They each have their own unique flavor. And you know, one thing that's so important to get is that none of these are inherently better than the others. Now, there, there is a progression towards greater complexity, sophistication, maturity, um, a, a wider sort of sphere of care or sphere of concern. And you know, in general, um, in order to meet the demands of modern life, I believe it's better to grow rather than stay stuck. And indeed, the, the very I, the very notion that every stage has its place is itself a very evolved point of view, one characteristic of stage yellow, which we'll get to in the next video. So what you want to do then is, is to fully integrate each of these stages, to fully say, yes, I have healthy purple, I have healthy red, I have healthy blue, or take a look in yourself where you have unhealthy manifestations of each of, the, of each of these stages and to find ways of reintegrating the parts of yourself that you've hidden, repressed, or denied and recovering a healthy red, a healthy blue, a healthy turquoise, that kind of thing. And because that's what's going to help you <clears throat> really grow and, and become a fully actualized adult, which is, I believe, what the world needs more of. And will certainly be what helps you make better art. So I've, in previous videos, I've already spoken a bit about the relationship of spiral dynamics to the arts. You can go back and watch those. Um, but in general, the more actualized you are as a person, the greater your capacity to create transformative, um, heart-opening, consciousness-expanding kind of art. So we'll get more into uh, the, the following stages, orange through turquoise in the, in the next video. Um, and, and I'll have maybe one or two more videos about spiral dynamics in the arts coming after that. I hope you enjoyed this. hope you found it useful. And I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, and please do visit my website, josepharnold.com. Uh, check out my blogs, my blog posts, my other videos. Click like and subscribe to this channel. It helps this channel grow and reach other people who enjoy personal growth content for uh, related to the arts. Okay, see you next time.